Look at those facts. Y'all have heard me talk about like my journey into more of a plant-based diet and why I think it's so important. And our next guest is right there with me. So whether you are a vegetarian or you're just someone who wants to be healthier, when you add more plant-based foods to your diet, your health is absolutely going to benefit. All the research shows us that. And Nancy Addison joins us with some terrific and tasty tips. I'm so glad you're here. Thank you. Really, so because nice be it's, I think people hear vegetarian and they go, Ugh, you know, what am I going to be eating salads for the rest of my life? <laughs> and it just, it does take a little bit more creativity. It takes a little bit more um, open mindedness, I'll say, right? It to, does. In your cooking. But it is, it really is the best diet to follow for so many reasons. Well, what I found about 27 years ago when I decided to be a vegetarian was that. You know, it, the plant-based diet is what heals the body. Yeah. And uh, whenever you can add more plant-based foods to your diet, it's um, going to benefit your health. Yeah, you benefit. So you don't have to go full out on anything, but just to add more of it to your diet. Maybe right. to do like 80% plant-based and, and then do the rest for 20 But So you started this with your kids, too, when they were little. I did. My children were one and two years old when I started. And I grew up in Texas in a meat-based diet. Oh, my God. <laughs> And everybody thought, oh my goodness, what are you doing? Oh, they thought you were crazy, for sure. <laughs> They're like, where's the steak? Where are the ribs? But um, this particular recipe that you're making for us today, you say you've served this to many a Texas man who's used to his beef, and, and he's like this just as much. Yes, and much to their surprise. And what I found when I became a vegetarian was that I did miss meeting, eating meat. Yeah. And I miss that texture. And so I started... Um, substituting different things in order to satisfy those cravings mm -hmm. and what I found was mushrooms is a really good uh, choice and I put a lot of other recipes in my book that also help satisfy those meat cravings yeah. like corn dogs and oh, lasagna great. things like that yeah so you can have like you know a version of, of the, the real you know um, the real meal um, it's interesting you said that about uh, mushrooms though because I thoroughly agree and although I haven't been a huge fan of mushrooms in the past I am now because they really do take on that texture of meat and if you chop up the portobello mushrooms and do like a burgundy sauce it's delicious you can't tell the difference yes. you really can't and what's really nice about it is you can grill it or you can broil it or mm -hmm. we could even heat it up on the stove like we're doing here today and so you can cook it a lot of the same ways that you can with meat. Mm -hmm. So whenever I'd be invited to a barbecue or a, a hamburger cookout, I could actually take a mushroom with me and they could usually grill it for me and I would just think no one would even notice yeah. I'm eating differently. Yeah, and like you said, they're really easy to cook. So today you're doing it on the stovetop in soy sauce. You marinate it I in am. soy sauce? I am. This recipe is a portobello mushroom burger that I have in my book and uh, I've, uh, you buy uh, mushrooms at the store that are nice and clean and you just brush them off mm -hmm. and then you soak them in a soy sauce for about 30 minutes and here I've warmed it up in the soy sauce and it gives it a little more of a savory flavor mm -hmm. and then I'm going to put some goat cheese on it and um, would you like to get the, sure. the whole they, grain bun out of the there's out of the, the out of toaster there, I'm gonna have to and I love whole grain buns, and you can also get uh, whole grain gluten-free buns at the grocery store. This one's stuck. I think I got a pretty big <laughs> bun there. <laughs> okay, hold on. I'm going to work on this. You talk about the recipe. Okay, there we go. Okay, so I'm going to take out our mushroom here, and I'm just going to put it on the bun. And now you would you would put the goat cheese on on, okay. I just put the goat cheese, I just kind of fill the, the mushroom up with it right like this. You have to like really this. like goat cheese. And if you, um, our bodies actually handle goat cheese better than it does cow's milk. Yeah. And so a goat cheese is a nice version. And if you don't want to use goat cheese or dairy, you can also mash up an avocado mm -hmm. and use it instead. And then we just put a little lettuce, lettuce tomato. On. You could do some onions and really dress it up like a real burger. You can. And sure, here's looks like a real thing too. Finished and and we okay. have a we're gonna cut that up here. and try it. And as we go to break again, the name of Nancy Addison's book is How to Be a Healthy Vegetarian: Fantastic Recipes to Make It Not So Difficult. So check out the website at uh, our website rather at thebroadcasttv.com for a link to her website and a way to get the book and all these wonderful recipes. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you. Um, okay, more table talk next. Stay with us.